Hello friends. In this video, we are going to study about the various types of alternating current bridges which are used for the measurement of AC resistance, capacitance and inductance. We will see that what are the alternating current bridges which are used for the measurement of capacitance, which alternating current bridges are used for measurement of inductance. So let's start with our topic. Alternating current bridges, they are widely used for the measurement of the AC resistance, capacitance and inductance. They are very precise and very accurate instruments. Okay. So we can say that the alternating current bridges, they are used for the measurement of the alternating parameters, okay? AC quantities, AC parameters like resistance, capacitance and inductance. For the precise and the accurate measurement of these parameters, we can use the alternating current bridges. Now, as I have said bridges, so it means that we see that whatever bridge circuit it will consist of four arms whenever we say any bridge circuit so that circuit is going to consist of four arms okay now in those four arms we will be having the impedances So if I draw a bridge circuit, so it will be like these will be the four impedances. They are named as Z1, Z2, Z3 and Z4. Then we have a detector also. This is the detector. These are impedances and in between them we are having an AC power supply because this is an alternating current bridge so the power supply will also be an alternating current supply. So here we are having an AC power supply. <coughs> This power supply is used to operate this bridge circuit, okay? And the four impedances are connected in the four arms of the bridge. And this detector is used to find out the null or the balance condition of the bridge, okay? So the alternating current bridges, they also consist of four arms. In those four arms, we are having four impedances. Out of those four impedances, three impedances are known to us and one impedance is there which is unknown. So this bridge circuit is used to find out the value of this unknown impedance which is the Z1 impedance. Okay. The Z2, Z3 and Z4, these impedances are already known to us and with the help of these impedances and by using the balance condition of the bridge, we are going to find out the Z1 unknown impedance. Now, this impedance, it can be a combination of, it can be a pure resistance. Or it can be a combination of inductance or capacitance. Means in that impedance we can have the series combination of the these resistance, capacitance and inductance or we can have the parallel combination of these three parameters. Okay, 
so we can find out the value of the resistance also that is ac resistance and inductance and capacitance with the help of the alternating current bridges now there are various types of alternating current bridges available to us on the basis of the fact that which parameter is measured by that alternating current bridge <coughs> So if we classify the alternating current bridges, so if we classify the alternating current bridges on the basis of that which parameter they are measuring, there are We can divide these AC bridges on the basis that they are measuring capacitance whether they are measuring inductance Now, not only these parameters, resistance, inductance and capacitance, but sometimes the alternating current bridges, they can be used for the measurement of other parameters like power factor, storage factor, frequency, okay. So, we can divide the AC bridges also for the measurement of frequency. Okay, so here we will study the types of alternating current bridges on the basis of the AC parameter they are measuring. Like we will see that for the measurement of capacitance, uh, which AC bridges are available to us for the measurement of inductance, which AC bridges are available and for measurement of frequency, what are the AC bridges which are available to us. Now, If we see for the measurement of inductance, we are having five bridges. First is the most basic bridge called the Maxwell inductance bridge. This is the basic bridge which is used for the measurement of self-inductance. After that, second bridge is Maxwell inductance capacitance. Now this second bridge, Maxwell inductance capacitance bridge, it is a little bit modification of the first bridge, okay. After that, next bridge is Hayes bridge. These bridges, as you can see, Maxwell, here also Maxwell, Hayes, these are named after the scientists who have invented it, okay? So, Hayes Bridge and Anderson Bridge. And the last bridge is the Owens Bridge. So these are the five bridges which are used for the measurement of inductance. Out of them, Maxwell inductance bridge, as I said, it is the most basic bridge. And Anderson bridge, it is the most popular, somewhat complicated, but most widely used for the measurement of the inductance. Okay. And these bridges are named after the scientist who has invented them. After that, for the measurement of capacitance, We are having two bridges. First is the sharing bridge. And second is the desorty bridge. Okay. 
These two bridges are used for the measurement of capacitance. Again, shearing bridge is invented by the scientist shearing and desorty is invented by the scientist desorty. Okay. Next for measurement of frequency. For that we are having the most famous the Vance bridge. It is invented by the scientist Wen, okay, and it is called the Wen bridge. It is used for the measurement of frequency. Frequency will be measured in terms of the inductance and capacitance, okay. So here we have seen the various types of alternating current bridges which are available to us for the measurement of the various AC parameters like resistance, inductance, capacitance, frequency can also be measured with the AC bridges. Some other parameters can also be measured but the most common parameters are the inductance and the capacitance. Okay. So we have seen that for the measurement of inductance and capacitance which bridges are available to us for capacitance we are having two bridges shearing and desorty for inductance we are having five bridges maxwell inductance maxwell inductance capacitance anderson and uh, hayes bridge and owens bridge for frequency we are having one and only the wins bridge so i hope that now it is clear to you that what are the various types of alternating current bridges thank you